The other day, I wanted to play a farming simulator for you all, so I did what anyone would do. I opened Steam, and I found a farming simulator game that no one has ever played before. This game, called SIMS4, lets you control people and live their lives and go to work and garden and farm and find true love. Okay, fine, we're playing The Sims 4, which is not a new game, and I love it very much. I love to watch my Sims pee on the floor and such, but today we're playing the Cottage Living Expansion Pack and seeing how the pack compares to other farming simulators. See if Sims 4 can really be a farming simulator all on its own. Coming into this expansion pack, all I knew is that I'd be able to garden and raise some farm animals. The rest I'd have to figure out. And of course, that starts with creating our sim. I had an original couple in mind, Ghost and Fern. Ghost is actually supposed to look like this, but the pink skin didn't look quite right. After hours of character creation and no gameplay, I came up with these beautiful outfits using mostly the expansion pack. Of course, we had to move into Henford on Bagley, the new expansion area, and I decided to move us into the Bramble Wood, and more specifically, Cordelia's Secret Cottage, because it was the most furnished and complete area I could see for a farm. You know, you get your grandpa's farm in Stardew, right? So I don't have to start from nothing. And just like that, my babies were born into the Sims. Okay, that was a weird sentence. I decided to give Ghost the country caretaker aspiration, new with the pack. But first things first, we need to get us some animals. I was very intimidated by the barn and the fact that I could only have one animal in there. Pink and cow is looking really low. So we'll start with the chicken coop. I'm renaming it to Chicka D because it's cute and buying two chicks, one that will grow into a rooster and one that will grow into a hen. And here they are, the beautiful little chimkins. I'm running ghost over as fast as I can. I promise I've played the Sims for years, but clicking on a little chick and getting all the options to socialize as if it's a human, ah, oh, I'm so excited. We named one Salsa and we're feeding the other one. I don't think he has a name yet. And of course, he is named Cluckers. At this point, Ghost decided she was done hanging out with the little chicks, but I said no, and we came back over. We're gonna pet a beautiful Cluckers. Oh my God, look at the tiny little pets on his head, so cute. <laughs> but our wonderful time with our new babies was cut short at the arrival of what seemed to be an elderly mayor. Turns out this guy is literally a neighbor and not a mayor. I wanted Ghost to talk to him, but Fern was being extremely friendly. Good for her. But when Ghost came over and actually started to talk to the guy, Fern decided she didn't like him. Wanna be our friend? You think you're good enough for that? Uh-huh, yeah, right. With our imposter mayor out of the way, Fern is finally ready to pursue her dream of being a freelance bot, and except not really, cause he's here and still talking to her. Like, I'm trying to plant a carrot, sir. Okay, he finally did leave, and Fern is finally planting a million more carrots and some lettuce, random things that I bought. Apparently when I click on a till of soil, I could just buy seeds and they're just quote, delivered but they're just instantly here and I can plant. So that's pretty cool. Don't have to go to Pierce. I'm really curious to see if we're actually gonna be able to make money selling crops versus selling eggs and whether ranching or farming is gonna be more profitable. All of a sudden, a wild rabbit appears and it's so cute. So I wanna go over and chat with him, except Fern is having a heart attack. Chatting it up, chatting up with the rabbit. Very cute. Hi neighbor, goodbye neighbor. But it turns out talking to the bunny has taught us how to be funny and also put us in a flirty mood. So I think it's time to abort mission. After a long day of buying some chicks, feeding them and planting some seeds, all Fern and Ghost have to do is wait. At this point, I realized that I didn't give them a relationship before starting the game. So they're kind of strangers to each other and I'm gonna see if we can fix that. Hey Ghost, what do you look for in a partner? Fern decides to go all in with this questionable wave, and Ghost waves back. Gotha. Closer to evening time, Ghost and Fern decide to hang out by the chickens until Ghost decides to murder one of the chicks with her push-ups. It's fine, it's fine, Salsa's alive. At this point, Fern starts to get hungry, and I realize that we have a lot challenge that I didn't realize existed. The challenge on this slot is called Simple Living, and it requires your sim to have all of the ingredients for a recipe before they can cook that recipe. At this point, I think I saw a fox, so I sent Ghost out to chase the fox for miles while Fern stayed at home and tried to make something with maybe some fruit. Once again, horror dawns upon me as I realize that because Ghost and Fern aren't dating yet, they can't share a bed. And so here's Ghost suffering on the couch. Sweet dreams. A few days in and it's finally time for our first harvest. Fern harvests some spinach, realizes she can't cook with it, and then sells it for one simoleon each. 30 simoleons total. Maybe one day we can pay the bills. 
With the addition of a planted apple tree, Fern hoped and prayed that her plants would someday pay the bills. And with that, my first time playing this pack was over. But we opened the game again during my live stream on Twitch and I decided it was time to check out the rest of the map. Let's just send Fern into town because I think we're supposed to do things but I haven't done it. I first sent Fern out to talk to anyone who was walking around our house. Oh wait, her shirt matches my shirt. We should be friends. Before realizing that some NPCs weren't as important as others. You seem the friendly sort. You know, if you want to help out, a few of the important local villagers are often in need of a hand. Just walk up and offer help. I guess I can't give her help. She's staying. She's not important. You're important to me, whatever your name is. But we finally made it to the main town area of Finchwick. First exploring the gnome's arm before identifying this very angry looking garden shop owner who seems important enough to need some help. Look at her run. Oh my gosh, she's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I'm trying to help you. It turns out Agnes is indeed an important part of the community and asks us to help her out in scolding someone else. I'm tired and angry. Yikes, you're almost as scary as that grumpy old crumple bottom. Nice. Ghost also wants to get on the neighborhood friendliness and promises this grocery deliverer Jake some in-person deliveries, llama wool, and cross-stitching. We go home to prepare, but disaster strikes. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. What the heck? She just got abducted. Well, um, I'm gonna build my garden. <laughs> Two seconds later. Ghost just, oh, oh god, oh god. She just got zipped back. Oh lord, the music! Ghost is back, so I guess everything's fine? So we buy a white llama and pretend like our simple country life was never interrupted by E.T. What is this stare off? That was a good impression, right? Some adorable cross-stitching ensues. And honestly, this cute little friends and almost couple really needed this moment of relaxation. Unfortunately, the peace does not last because a fox comes. And I'm just really scared that it can either kill our chickens or steal our crops. So Ghost spends 50 million hours befriending the fox so that she can ask him to not steal and soils herself. Oh yay, we're finally friends with the fox. Even though we just peed right in front of him. I'm so sorry, you have to protect your chicken. By this time, our beautiful llama Tiny has been giving us wool and our beautiful chickens have grown up and are giving us eggs. And it's just in time for the Finchwick Chicken Fair. Salsa is our chicken of choice because Cluckers needs to sit on an egg to hatch. Salsa! Ah, so cute! Look at my baby! These ones are not as good as my baby. And we finesse a selfie with the butt of our chicken because we're too poor to afford a camera with a front-facing lens. I think this one's mine. No, that one's not even mine. This one's mine. Oh my gosh, I took a picture with the wrong chicken. Oh yes, me and the butt of my chicken. We decide to not bribe the judge, but have a heart attack oh when the chicken stands just disappear. Oh, oh, oh my chicken, my chicken, my chicken, wait. But it turns out we won some cheese, a participation ribbon, and our chicken is perfectly safe at home. We have one last roundup of Fern's crops to see if we'll be able to pay the bills. We have spinach selling for 60, one each. Apples selling for 60, three each. Grapes selling for 480. Carrots selling for 360. Wow, this is definitely paying our bills. Our actual bills will cost about 500. Overall, playing The Sims 4 as a farming simulator seems pretty profitable, but the animal section I'll need to work on. I really love the de facto side quests from working with people in town and the drama that ensues. There's a lot more to unpack with this expansion pack. <laughs> so let me know if you wanna see more of this pack on the channel. I hope you enjoyed my exploration into cottage living in The Sims 4. What do you like about the pack? What do you hate about it? Are you playing it like a farming simulator too? Leave me a comment and like the video and I hope to see you here again in the Fay Cafe.